It was announced today the Prince of Wales and the Queen have planted a tree to kick off a months-long campaign to get millions of new trees planted across the UK. Their tree planting drive called Plant a Tree for the Jubilee is being run by the Queen's Green Canopy and is one of the key commemorations of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee next year. This key milestone will mark 70 years on the throne for the monarch. In a new video, Charles urged people to get involved in the profoundly symbolic act. Last week, Charles escorted his mother for the state opening of Parliament, where she gave the Queen's speech, outlining the government's intentions for the forthcoming Parliament. In heartwarming pictures, the heir can be seen holding his mother's hand as they walk up to the throne in the House of Lords. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, walked a few paces behind them. This was the 67th time the Queen has opened Parliament and only a handful were missed by her husband Prince Philip before he died. While Charles has been by Her Majesty's side for the past few Queen's speeches, his reassuring presence was all the more poignant following the Duke of Edinburgh's death earlier this year. One royal expert noted how his escorting of the Queen echoed how he walked Meghan down the aisle for her wedding to Prince Harry after her own father Thomas Markle failed to make the ceremony. In the weeks before the wedding, Thomas had caused issues by posing for the paparazzi, which he admits was a mistake. He then had a heart attack and was too sick to travel to the UK for his daughter's nuptials. The pair have not talked since although Thomas has claimed he made numerous attempts to get in contact. However, Meghan did write a letter to her father to tell him how she felt, a letter which was later at the center of a privacy lawsuit. After it became clear that Thomas would not make the wedding, Prince Charles swooped in to walk Meghan himself and save her the embarrassment of walking alone. Pod Save the Queen is hosted by Anne Gripper and features Daily Mirror Royal Editor Russell Myers. Moore's Gripper said, I have to say something that I found really striking in the pictures. Escorting the Queen, Prince Charles, he's not just holding his mum's hand, is he, it's very grand, like, we are striding down this aisle. It's quite proud and forward and you can almost imagine him careering down in a barn dance style, it's high up in the air. Mr. Myers agreed that it looked very regal and how different it is to see the pomp and pageantry of this kind of ceremony versus the more down-to-earth video calls the royals have been doing of late. Moore's Gripper added, I did have some quite strong flashback echoes. I think it was partly because of the camera angle of one of those particular photos that was taken that day of Charles and Queen coming through the little chamber, through the doorway. It reminded me very much of one of those beautiful pictures from Meghan and Harry's wedding day when Charles had taken Meghan's hand and they were coming through into a room. Very different kinds of buildings but both grand in their own way. And different generations of women and different roles but on both occasions Prince Charles there as a supporter and, not the main event, but being there by someone's side at an important time. So I thought that was interesting. Mr. Myers exclaimed that this comparison was a good call.